Today, we're gonna learn a Russian folk song called Vopole Tuman Zatumanelsia. It means over fields and over meadows. And this song is in the key of D minor. Let's get started. All right, so this song uses notes from the D minor scale. Do we remember the D minor scale? Let's try it. I'm gonna play it with my left hand this time for fun. So starting on D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, and then back down, C, B flat, A, G, F, E, D, D minor. All right, so now we're gonna look at the song. Remember our time signature is in 4-4, four, four. so that means that there are four beats per measure and that the quarter note gets the beat. And then I'm going to take a quick peek here. Oh, I see some eighth notes. So we're going to go ahead and subdivide. And you know what? Let's count the whole thing. So we're going to count the right hand here. I will count off four for you. And then let's go through the whole song, the whole right hand. One and two and three and four. And 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 one and two two and three and four and one and 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 two and three and four and all right i'm going to count it again but this time i'll play the melody while we count okay so i'll count off four again one and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and one and two and three and four and very good all right so now let's count the left hand and if we take a quick peek we see that there are some eighth notes so we're going to make sure to subdivide and what we notice also that there are some whole notes that are tied right so that means that we're gonna we're gonna still count them through but we're gonna actually hold that note down when we play it right it's gonna be held for four plus those four beats as well. All right, so let's try it. I'll count off four for you, okay? One and two and three and four. And 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 one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and 
one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and woo all right now y'all probably noticed that page two here in the left hand is a little bit tricky right so I'm going to go ahead and start with some tips. So we'll start on the first page. Notice that we start on the five finger on that D, right? So we're going to start with the one, two, three, four, and then hold it for the second one, two, three, four. I never lifted my finger. Okay. Then we'll keep going. So then we have the E for three counts, one and two and three and four and all right. Fingering's on pretty easy here so far. So this is going to be four beats and then up to the G four beats. Okay. And then now remember this is tied. So it's one, two, three, four, tied over one, two, three, four. Good. Then back down to F four beats there. And then remember you have the eighth note. So one, two, three, four, and one, right? And then that's, this is pretty easy. And the whole, whole note there, four counts. Okay. All right, now we're gonna go to page two, but notice how we went to the one finger. We ended back here on our five finger, right? Okay, but we're gonna jump on down to our one finger because look, this line is descending, right? We see this line going down. So we're gonna see this line going D, C, and then eventually down to that B flat. But what's all this other stuff, right? So you'll see here, they want you to hold this D all the way through this measure and through this measure, right? So you're going to hold D down for eight counts. Okay. So you're going to hold it, but at the same time, you also have to keep going with this C. Okay. So you're going to still hold that D down. You're going to want to lift it, but don't. So you have two counts here and then come down to the, to the C. Okay, good. And then here you're going to come down to the B, B flat. Should we count that? Let's count that. So we're going to hold it down one, two, keep holding the D C four, one, two, three, four. Okay, good. Now you're going to keep holding that B and D together, right? Until here, you're going to hold the B down, but now you're going to lift your finger and play that D again. Okay. Can we try that all together? Let's try it. I'll count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Oh my gosh, that sounds so cool. Good job. All right, so we're gonna continue this measure. So we ended up here, right? Okay, now to get here, see how it's three and five, we're gonna pivot. So we have our thumb on the D right now. We're going to go ahead and pivot. Oh, it's, it's going to sound legato like that. We're going to pivot to the three and five. Okay. And then you hold that C down while you play these notes. Okay. So you see that we were here, B flat and D pivot over to the five and three, and then hold that C down with the five finger while you play D and E. Excellent. So if we keep going now, so we're going to go from that five and three, and then holding that five finger down, the next measure is really, really everything and go to F. Okay. Now see how it's three counts. And then we're also going to have these last notes on the, on beat four, right? But this is a half note. This is two beats. So you're going to play this for three beats. And on beat three, you're also going to have to play this D. So we're on the second finger for F, right? So it's one, two, three, and you're going to keep holding that F down in the meantime until 
a beat four, you lift the F to play the E and F, right? So if it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, and then three, four, right? So here you were holding that over, that was tied over, and then you release that to go to the C. But you're still gonna hold that G for the whole measure, okay? You wanna do that section again? So one, two, starting on the two finger, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Oh, interesting. Wow, now we have an octave, octave Gs, right? So if your hand is big enough and you can play G to G, we're gonna go ahead and do that, okay? But if you can't, that's okay, just play the bottom G. That's fine too. But if you can do it, let's play the top one too, because it sounds cool. We're gonna hold that top one down, we're gonna play the G for two counts, and then the A for two counts. Now, if your hand is big enough and you could play it five, four, that's fantastic. But if it's a little tough, it's okay. You can play the octave here, octave Gs, and then just scoot your five finger out for the A. That's okay too. Whatever's easiest for you. And then we'll go to this next measure. So we have the octave Gs up to the A, and then we're gonna land on one and three, B flat and D, okay? All right, from here, we're gonna see that pivot action again. So if you're on a uh, third finger on the B flat, one finger on the, on the D, okay? From there, you're gonna pivot, leave your thumb, and then you're gonna pivot two and four on the C and E. See that? Aha! Uh -huh. And then next measure, down to one and three. That makes it nice and easy, right? So one and three, two, four, one and three. One and three, pivot, you're all set up for one and three. Excellent. Okay, so here we have another tie, right? So we're tying that D over to this one. So we're gonna hold that D down while you play the E, and then you're also gonna hold the E down while you switch down to that C, right? So if we started here, that's four counts, and then hold that, that D down on the bottom and you're gonna switch to E, okay? And then while you hold the E down, you're gonna switch down to the C. Let's count it out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and then, okay, so now we're gonna see that B flat and D again, like we saw before, but we're gonna play it with our one finger and our five finger. We're gonna do a little tiny scrunch there, okay? And when we do the scrunch, it's because we're gonna swing that two finger over, and then while you hold that down, right? So we're gonna hold down the one and five, hold the five down, and then the two finger is gonna take over there. Okay, you can still hear that B flat, right? And then we're gonna go to F and A. See how easy that was? So you have a little scrunchy, and then hold the left the five down while you do the two, and then open up to the F and A. So this is a really cool technique you're gonna you're gonna use a lot probably scrunching that little one and five together right it's gonna help you play more legato and it's gonna help you with some of these fingerings down the line right so that's a fun thing to remember so from the f and the a there this is a half note right and then you have quarter notes so you're gonna hold that half note down right and then keep going with that b flat good and then here now you have the half note in the bottom so it's one and three okay and then since you're gonna hold that third finger down just kind of like nudge your little finger up your one finger up to the F right so you're here jump up so one two there okay so the one and three jump up to one two and now you're set up for one and three again on F and D one and three there, and then down to five finger. And that's it. All right, so this piece has some real challenges in the left hand, right? The key is to play all these little sections, just a little section at a time until you get really comfortable with it. Then you'll try another little section at a time. And once you get all those little sections comfortable, then you'll put them all together, okay? All right, what do we have at the bottom of the page here? Write in all the counts for the treble clef melody, and the bass clef harmony for this song. 
All right, I already counted those for you, so you can write those in. Then draw a circle around any seconds in the base clef on this page. Okay, let's get my handy dandy pencil out. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to draw a circle around any seconds in the base clef. Well, here's the base clef. Is that a second? No, that's a unison. Oh, that's a second. Okay, how about that? No, that's a third. Uh, no, that's a fourth. Is that? No, that's not either. Ah, that almost tricked me, but that's a third. That's a third. Aha! I found a second. Uh, okay, I think that's it. What do we have next? Draw a square around any thirds in the base clef on this page. Okay, base clef. Uh, okay. Uh, that looks like a square. Okay, here's a third. What else? Do, do, do. That's not a third. And that's a third. Aha, uh -huh, and here's that one that almost tricked me. But, oops, that's a rectangle. But, close enough. Here's a third. And, oh, here's a third. Uh oh, my rectangles are getting wonky. Here's another one. Okay, oh, and here's one more. All right, whipping through here. Uh, draw a triangle around any force in the base clef on this page. Okay, base clef, let's go through here. Do I see any force? No, what about here, what about here? Aha, uh -huh. I believe that's a force. Okay, oops, it was a triangle. Got excited. This is why you gotta have your handy dandy eraser with your pencil. Okay, triangle. I know my shapes. All right, what else? Is this a fourth? No, I already got all those. No, that's not a fourth. Okay, all right, all done.
So today, we learned Vopole Tumanzaktumanelsia. And we practiced some really tricky legato in the left hand. So remember, practice all your songs, sing while you play, and memorize everything. Presquisima out!